The difference quotient is a concept that's usually covered at the beginning of calculus, and it goes into something that's called the derivative. But right now I'm just going to use uh, the basic ideas of functions and then arithmetic to just simplify the actual expression. So the difference quotient itself is f of x plus h, which means you plug x plus h into the function f, minus f of x, and then all divided by h. So let's say we're given the function f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. So the first thing we want to do is to find f of x plus h. So f of x plus h, anytime with functions, um, when you put something in the parentheses, that always means um, we're making a substitution for that instead of the variable. So here, x goes with that x. So now I have an x plus h. We're going to replace the x instead with an x plus h. And then we can simplify it. So here we've got 3x plus 3h minus 5. And now we can actually plug it in to the actual difference quotient. So the first thing we're going to plug in is the f of x plus h, which we just found to be 3x plus 3h minus 5. And then we plug in minus f of x. So minus f of x, we don't have to do anything. That's what we're actually given. We're given that f of x is just equal to 3x minus 5. So we plug that in right here, 3x minus 5. And then all divided by h. And we don't have to do anything with h. We just have to actually just write it down. So down here, we have an h. So once we've plugged it all in, we want to do some simplifying on the top. So I may actually start by distributing that negative symbol. So subtract both of these so that we end up with the 3x plus 3h minus 5 remains the same. And then we get minus 3x plus 5 all over h. And now we can actually do some cancellations. So you see we have a 3x minus a 3x. That actually just cancels to 0. And we also have a minus 5 and a plus 5. So those also cancel to 0. So that leaves us in the top with only a 3h. And then on the bottom we had always had the h. So we can do another cancellation here. Because h divided by h is just 1. So that leaves us as our final answer of 3.